So to make it easier to control the valve bank, I'm going to connect all of the uh, positive leads together because these are solenoids. They don't care what the polarity is. You just need to give it a uh, potential difference in between the two. So if I connect all these, then I just have to apply negative to any one of these to actuate the solenoid instead of having to run a wire to both. So now, all I have to do is supply positive to any one of these. You hear the solenoids? Uh oh, something doesn't seem to work. Alright, so I just re-soldered that connection and now it works. All of them work. Perfect. So I picked up these T-braces, which I'm hoping to use to attach the piston. So you can bolt it down in a few places and it'll be nice and rigid. Let's give it a shot. Gonna have to make the holes bigger first though. Perfect. So it turns out the whole pattern isn't actually the same, which is kind of unfortunate. So I may just have to bolt it and then just weld along the seams to keep in place. That being said, just having one actually seems to work quite well. It wobbles a bit, but it's still not really going anywhere. Now if I put a cylinder on the other side, then it would balance out anyways. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so I admit this is a really ghetto testing setup, but I really want to see this thing go. So let's give it a shot. Alrighty. <laughs> Might as well actually test it with the valve bank. Alrighty. Okay. Some pressure and then my release. It releases as well. Alright. Let's make it pick up something. Alrighty. Let's slow this down a little bit more. Hang on. Let's try this again. Come on. Ah, it's trying. Guess we'll need the second cylinder. That being said, this is like a foot and a half moment arm, so this thing may be able to put out like 400 pounds, but across that span, not quite as much. But if I put another guy on front, I think we'll have something. 
Now these cylinders are actually rated for up to 200 psi. My air compressor only puts out about 120 at the top end. It's supposed to only be 100. So if I can get a better compressor, that means I can almost double the power in these cylinders. So for the final version, I definitely want to do that because 200 psi versus 100, pretty big difference. Could probably lift this by itself then.